changing the registered email address from the website skype.com so let's scroll down and show show everyone what we just discovered it was not very user friendly so that's why we're we wanted to change the registered email to make sure that basically the hacker can't get back to him right so we did add email click yeah click on add email and what was interesting about this that well uh, you'd think they would give you a button to the right to change the primary email address here but they didn't there's no button there we want to make sure you can change your registered or primary email as it says here so we want to change it so the hacker can't get to it so let's scroll down and save save buttons way at the bottom of the screen with that green save button we're gonna press that and we're gonna show you what happens next <laughs> okay here we go so he's got now got his second email but there is not there does not look to be a place to click to change or make it the email the primary email however there is a way to change a secondary email into the primary email so we're gonna click add another email you don't have to add a third email but that's when they give you the set primary uh, set this to so ta -da. now we can scroll down to save again and you changed your primary email that is actually a recommended Skype recovery and Skype safety technique that is not really well known. I include that. Notice they're making they're being extra safe. Please confirm your password. Uh, please confirm your password. We're just being extra safe. See where they say that under enter password. Yeah. And then we enter. We'll sh show you what happens. Yay! Okay, scroll down and let's see your. Regi that you have successfully changed the registered email address making it even more protected now it's better if it's not a Gmail if it's your own domain but yes you have successfully cha changed the primary email to a second email account now if you do have to use Gmail it's really important that you have set up the verification methods and even that you've changed the password recently on the new Gmail account and use one that not many people have access to but it's really important to set up your verification or recovery settings at Gmail if you're going to use Gmail as your registered email uh, very important for Skype uh, safety um, and security so that you don't get hacked so changing a registered email is a great idea for if you have access to your Skype account because Skype hackings make you lose access to it and you have now basically secured your Skype from the Skype hacker. Most people, I'm just going to include what's no, what the normal path is here, is that you would go to Skype Live Chat Support at the bottom of See You on Skype. We can go ahead and click over there. Okay, so at the bottom of your home page at See You on Skype is this link. Click here to get Skype Live Chat Support. The normal thing you do is you tell them to give you back your registered email. The hacker changed it. That's how you recover. The best thing you can do is to keep a record of your purchases with Skype. That's the fastest way to recover, but there are ways of verifying that you are the owner.